We'll start off with looking at Web2, which is just such an underutilized but awesome tool that is pretty simple to get spun up, and it allows you to access your PDM vault from any device with a browser. So pretty sweet. So I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Google Chrome browser. And right, I'm on a laptop right now, but this could be any device connected to the Internet. It could be a cell phone. Um, it could be a Chromebook. It could be just about anything with a, with a web browser that's connected to your network. And you can see how, I mean, <laughs> how exciting of a tool this could be. And just to kind of give a, an example of a use case, think about this. Think about maybe a field technician who's out working on a piece of equipment, doesn't have access to his laptop, but needs to maybe come in and reference a design uh, to see how something gets assembled. You know, being able to pull that up just directly from their cell phone I think is a pretty compelling advantage. It can help folks collaborate really nicely. So just this is just a super tool. It's it's easy to implement. We can get this set up for you guys in less than a day. Uh, you have full access to like the data cards, bills of material, all from a web browser. No installation required, and it's still just as secure. You know, you still need a login to get into to any of this stuff, but you can use all of your your standard style PDM functionality. Uh, as a matter of fact, you can even do approvals if you wanted to uh, from the web browsers. You can do change states. Uh, you do have the capability to do checkouts and, and download the, the files if you have that enabled. Um, but it's, I, I don't want to mislead anyone and let you, and make you think that this is a, a full-fledged you know, vault view. It's not ideal for doing CAD design. It's more of a, a reference type of a uh, tool. But it, it really excels in, in what it's made for, which is referencing uh, this kinds of data.